Well, here we go again. In this spot. I she looked over his other shoulder. Seriously. One person. But no, Zach's got no. Zach's gotta be right handed. I'm not going for all that extra shit this time. Fuck that. Again. Yes, he wants the profile. Right. Oh, he even asked me this time. Why are there still missing pieces? something in this town. Do you feel it, Zach? My coffee warned me about it. Your coffee? Yesterday morning, the milk I poured in my coffee made a sign. It said, tomorrow you'll arrive in a place that will change your fate. All, all in one cup. I think now it's a good time to, uh, Save the game, huh? Oh. Alright, so I think it's pretty obvious the game wants me to go that way. But as we all should know, Going the opposite way in video games either yields a high reward or high death. Let's go figure out which. Oh, the ground doesn't even look that wet to me. But okay. Hell yeah. I tell you. Just got 30 bucks, yo. I'll watch this side on the way. Out, and we'll watch the other side on the way back. How far do you think I can go? This is a really long road. So we stand. Oh, it's just a tree. Never mind. I don't know how I feel about this fog, though. You came here to investigate. I just came here. Fuck! Don't do that to me, game. Guess we do have to run this way. I 
I just want a physically fit agent. Jeez. Hey, can we go off like into these woods at all right here? Probably not. Nope. It's worth a shot. Oh, more agent on her right there. Fuck. Oh, looks like Greenvale Nature Preserve. Lake County Forest. Something. What the heck? Run with your gun out, because that works so well for the guy in uh, World War Z. No one was there. Ooh, a bridge. Can I jump off? hit by a car, am I? Because that would suck. Hey, a car! Now you were very late. Hi there, Emily Wyatt, Greenvale Deputy Sheriff. How are you doing? I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. FBI Special Agent, Francis York Morgan. Please, just call me York. That's what everyone calls me. Agent York? Good, that's good. Are you the sheriff? Uh, no, I'm Deputy Sheriff Emily Wyatt. George, he's the sheriff. He went looking for you, actually. He should be back soon. I see. If you don't mind me asking, did you walk all the way here? My car broke down, that's all. Broke down? It's on fire in the middle of the woods. She's easy on the eyes. Definitely worth a trip to the primitive world. By the way, don't mention anything about what happened back there. She'll think you're a psycho. Don't want that, do we, Zach? Welcome to Greenvale. I'm the sheriff, George Woodman. Call me George. I have a feeling I'm not going to like this guy. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please, just call me York. That's what everyone calls me. Could you tell me why the FBI is so interested in a small town homicide? Let's just say it's a personal interest in killers of young women. I'm always looking for new sample cases to help me with my profile. Both our superiors have cleared this with each other. You can remain in command. You don't have a problem with this, do you? No. No problem. Just want to set things straight. Our small town has its share of problems. I'm the one fixing them one by one and maintaining peace and order. You can have your profiling sample, but I need you to understand that. <clears throat> of course. Of course. By the way, George, I had a little accident with my car. Could you send someone to take care of it? Oh, and my clothes and luggage are still inside. All right. Don't worry. I'll get my assistant, Thomas, to take care of it. Do you need anything else? Thanks. That'll be all. Well then, I think I'll rest up first at the hotel. 
Then I'll join you on your investigation. Don't know how to save it. But, uh, we really don't need your help. Unlike some of your corrupt city police officers, I play it by the book. I hope you'll come to appreciate that, Agent Morgan. And we'll handle the investigation. You just think of this as a vacation. Take it easy. Enjoy the nature here. You don't have to be a tree worshiper to appreciate the wildlife here. Alright, I have a feeling he's in on it. No, sorry, this guy just bugs me the wrong way. Let's reassess the situation. There are no cavemen here. We're as far forward as the Middle Ages. And we've just met the king. Put me in the car too, right? Just saying. All right, that continuous bullshit. Alright, and with that, I think it might end up being it for the night. If we go a little bit longer. Hey, Zach. At least that'll be the end of this episode.